Hello, welcome back to Funtime Crafts 24-7. This is a demo video, and what I'm demoing for you today is the uh, Multi-Cinch Tool Band Punch. Uh, there was a request for this video, and um, at the time that I bought the punch, the Multi-Cinch with the Band Punch, um, they actually didn't have the bands in stock, so um, I wasn't able to do the video, and then I, I forgot. Um about buying them and uh, when I got a I watched uh, Simon Hurley do a tutorial on the new uh, rotating rotating precision press um, I had an idea for a scrapbook page that I wanted to do and this would be a, an ideal tool for that and uh, then uh, these came up and I remembered that I needed to do a tutorial on this and I wanted to try these out so um, these are the multi cinch bands they're elastic book bands uh, let's see, they are really awesome if you want to use them with um, half of a sheet of an 8.5 by 11 or a quarter that's a uh, 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. The large bands are approximately 7 and 3 quarters and the small bands are approximately 3 and 3 quarter um, and they are about oh, 3 eighths of, 3 eighths of an inch wide. Um, they work really, really nice though for a half a sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper or a quarter size. And, uh, basically how they work is you use the punch, punch it on, uh, one end on both sides of one end and all your pages. And then you just literally wrap the band around it. They're very easy, very, it's very user friendly. And uh, the nice thing about this style of a journal or photo album or a notebook is that you can take pages out or add pages in, which very, very easily um, and conveniently. So uh, it, it's a nice option to have in your stash. Uh, the bands don't have to go, there's no front or back. Uh, the shiny side on the inside uh, does grip your pages nicer than the matte side, but if you did want to do the shiny side out, uh, it still works uh, really nicely. Uh, so it doesn't doesn't actually matter. It's whatever you want to have on the outside. Um, there are some sharp edges when you do turn the band over. So this has a nice rounded uh, side and makes it you know look more finished. But depending on what you know what style you're going for, it it doesn't matter. And uh, so yeah, really awesome. Uh, I made a cover for this book here using the Sizzix texture roll, uh, the holographic. So it's like super fun. Haha. <laughs> and it's a wraparound cover. So. Um, it keeps all all your items, like if you have pockets on the inside or anything, um, it keeps them all in your notebook or your photo album. It's really cool. Um, so it looks like that. Like, right? How cool is that? Neat. And so I was going to show you how to make this today. Uh, let me give you the dimensions of this, though. This texture roll, I cut to um, 8.5 by 17 inches. And I scored at 5.5 five and three quarter and then I I folded it on the five and three quarter mark and then I cut my page um that's how I was able to cut my page down so once I scored um on the 17 inch side at I had to actually use um a magnetic ruler and cutting mat and I cut the texture roll at at 17 inches long and then I took it to my scoreboard and I scored it at five and a half and five and three quarter, folded it over on the five and three quarter mark. And then I turned it and I was able to put it in my guillotine trimmer and cut it at the um, eight and a half inch deep for the the height of my book. And so it actually it worked out really nice that way. So then uh, all I did was is I took the opposite side, I flipped it over, scored it at five and a half and then five and three quarter again. And I got the middle section of the book. So it worked out really nice. But I'm actually going to show you how to make it with just cardstock if you wanted one to wrap around or if you wanted a cover just to go on to uh, an elastic band book or journal or photo album. <laughs> so basically all you're going to need is, uh, and I'll show you how to use the punch. Actually, I should show you how to use the punch if that's why you're here and then you don't have to endure the cover portion. So uh, basically uh, the multi-cinch is has options that you can buy different styles of punch, one being the band. 
Um, it has a, uh, you don't actually use this. This generally is a guide. Um, it's, it's actually a placeholder guide, um, but you don't need that for this. This one, all you're going to use is your paper guide here that's on the side of the multi cinch tool. It, it stores here. And so you're going to go here and you're going to decide what thickness of spine that you want. And so this, you have three options on this band punch. The first one is E, which is quarter of an inch. The second is F, which is half of an inch. Or the third is G at three quarters of an inch uh, spine depth. And what that means is they're asking you how deep you want the edge of your paper, where you want this to punch at and how much you have sticking out on this side to the left of the band. So this is a half inch. I punched this one on half inch. And this one is at, uh, well, let's see, this one's a quarter of an inch. So you can see the size difference even between these two. So this is a quarter and this is a half. So yeah. And then the third one would be three quarters, so it would be just a little bit, a little bit wider, um, which is really nice. So uh, depending on um, the sturdiness and thickness of your paper or depending on uh, your decorative uh, options as well, if you wanted to put label or decoration on this uh, spine, uh, the thicker it is, the more options you have because you have more space. Uh, the thinner it is. Um, you also want to be mindful of how sturdy your pages are. Um, the other thing about these is I did mine at a quarter of an inch thick. Um, and these bands, they work pretty good. Uh, the pages aren't bulging. Um, they're, this is about a quarter of an inch. And so it, it, if you get your pages uh, to where they're thicker and thicker, so the band gets tighter and more tension, um, the more tension you put on the band, um, the more propensity it has to bow the book. And so you definitely want to be mindful of that depending on how thick these are. Now, if you go shorter than what I have here, which is eight and a half, um, you have to be mindful that you need to go thicker than for the band to actually fit and work on your book. So if like, say you were a half inch tall or deep with pages, thick with pages, um, you would then probably want only want your um, page height to be probably I would say about eight since this is eight and a half. You could probably try eight and a quarter, but I would I would try eight. Well, if you go eight and a quarter, you can always cut them down if it didn't work um, because the the depth of the punch is only a quarter of an inch, so you could cut that quarter of an inch off and then keep going as you would need to to make it to where the pages don't bow up so there is that um i just standardly use it generally a, a journal or a notebook is only about a quarter of an inch thick anyways um so these work really good for whether you quarter the notebook or you cut quarter the eight and a half by 11 or you have it so there you go there um so let me show you how to use the punch and then um, we'll go accordingly. So I'm going to add, um, let's see. We could just, here, let's just get a, an 8.5 by 11. We'll just cut it in half and I'll show you how the punch actually works. So let's see here. Um, let's go with, I got some pink card stuff. We can always use pink. Oh, I'll put a pink cover on the inside of this one. That'll be fun. And I'll that, that way you'll be able to see how to... Um, so I'm just going to cut this eight and a half by 11 sheet lengthwise down to five and a half. So it'll be five and a half by eight and a half. Was that? Yep. That's about the same. Okay. We're going to put both of these in. And so since I want to stay with the same thickness I did on this, I'm going to use half. And so I'm going to look on my punch guide. I want a half inch. And this says to use F right there. See F half inch. So I'm going to take, oh, so the half inch punch guide is F. So we're going to put our paper guide, this one here that is stored on the side, we're going to take it out and we're going to put it in F. Then what you want to do is you want to take your pages and you want to make sure to line up the um, vertical, this one here, the eight and a half side onto the paper guide and put the five and a half inch into the punch. So you're going to go like this and you're going to make sure it's all the way to the back of the punch and all the way up to the edge of the paper guide and you're going to punch. Then what you want to do is you want to flip your page 
and you're going to do the same. Make sure it's all the way to the back of the punch and all the way to the edge of the paper guide and then punch. There you go. And you should have a piece that looks like this that'll then go into your book like just like that. So let me do this one as well. So we have two. So all the way to the back and all the way onto the edge of the paper guide. The five and a half is in the punch side. And then flip it over. Uh, five and a half to the back of the punch and all the way up to the um, and the eight and a half all the way up to the paper guide and punch so like so like that and now what we're going to do is we're just going to add these two to our book here and you'll see how easy it is to add pages to uh, an elastic band al or journal or album so then like I want this one to be on the top and then I also want this one to be on the bottom and put it back in, wrap it around, pop my band back on, and bada bing, bada boom. There you are. Bob's your uncle. Easy peasy. And then this is just a really fun um, cover uh, that holds all your pages in. So there you go. And I would highly recommend um, lining up your pages uh, to the edge of your punch. And scoring them so that way when you're in here, you're using your journal, your pages, you know, open really nice. Uh, you don't have to worry about bending them like way out here in the middle or anything. They just will have a natural spot to bend. Whereas this one doesn't. This one's like grouchy. <laughs> it's like, no, I want to be flat. <laughs> so there you go there. So let me show you how to make a cover for a eight and a half or five and a half by eight and a half uh, notebook. And, um, yeah, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to take, so if you only wanted it to be two sided, so like you didn't want it to wrap around, you're going to take and you're going to do 11 and, a 11 and a quarter wide is what you want to do. 11 and a quarter wide, but I actually need mine to be 11 and a half. Uh, let's see, what could I do? Yeah, because you can't do it on there. I might be able to take it up on the other page. So let's just go ahead and do this. So I'm going to cut mine down to, um, let's see. I'm going to cut mine down to the height of my book, which is eight and a half. And then I need it to be, um, let's see, we're going to go five and a half then five and three quarter and then we want it to be yeah five and a half five and three quarter eleven and then eleven and uh and so then eleven eleven and a quarter is technically what we want to be eleven and a quarter is what we want for just a two-sided notebook cover so let's just go ahead and do that and i'm gonna do it just a tiny bit bigger like Instead of putting my paper on the line, I'm going to put it to that side of the line. So, I mean, we're talking like a scant microscopic millisecond. 11 and a quarter. And then what you want to do is you want to get your uh, scoreboard. And you want to score your paper at... Let's see. Hold on. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to take and you want to do, um, you want to score five and a half. And then five and three quarter. And that is going to be the thickness of your journal, notebook, or photo album. It's going to be a quarter of an inch. So then what you want to do is you want to just go ahead and fold on your score lines. So I just generally... Um, take and make sure that when I'm folding on a score line like this and it's going around a journal I just make sure that the top edges on both sides line up really nice and then I just press it down uh, it's good to burnish it if you can if you have a burnishing tool um, or just you know really crease it really well and then let's see fold it on the other one make sure it's lined up nice see you don't want it to be crooked like that because you want it to line up on the book really nice Hmm. Well, this paper was cut crooked. <laughs> it's not very lined up there. 
okay and then what you're gonna do is to make the cover you're going what what I did was since I used a half inch uh, uh, spine punch um, this from the edge from the edge of this punch because this is where it punches at is where this picture of the punch is is where it punches and from this edge that edge there to here is actually half inch so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up this this first score mark with the edge of this punch here or with the edge of the punch right here so right there and this first one I'm gonna line those two up so let me show you so there we go so there's the edge this this edge down here this is the first score mark just lining those two up making sure it's all the way to the back so we're lined up right there together and punch and then I'm gonna flip it over and then same thing line up the first one to the edge right there Ta-da! there we go there and so now what you want to do is you want to take and you want to flip it back over to where you're you don't have any punches so these are no punches here and so you're gonna take and you're gonna line that edge up with that edge yep and that way they're gonna be identical and and flip it over and they're gonna be identical to your pages so line this first one up here with that edge there right in there and there's your cover if you just want a front and a back so let's see what this looks like and oh pink that still matches right how fun is that easy peasy lemon squeezy done there you go journal cover uh, album cover uh, notebook cover <laughs> whatever you want to make it's it's that's how you do it and super super nice so now what you do is if you want one that folds over and goes under cardstock's not really ideal because it'll like wrinkle really bad um so this is this is much nicer to do it this you know just to do the two the front and back that has the spine that covers up all the pages that's why this is really nice uh because otherwise uh, just doing the oh it looks like this it looks like that you see the back part of it um, so this looks really nice and finished a really really nice finished notebook like that um, so so super super cool super clean uh, really cool but if you did want to make one that tucked over like that um, what you would do is you would take another piece of paper um, if you wanted it to be cardstock and not texture roll um, texture goal is the nicest because it's so flexible and it's really nice for making journal covers. Um, but let's do the cardstock version. Um, I'm not going to do that. Hold on. Let me get more paper. I'll be right back. So then to make the triple one in cardstock, what you want to do is you want to cut one piece that is of, of scrapbook paper that is 11 and a half. Ah, 11 and a half by eight and a half so that's the height of your book and that makes your uh, two covers a spine piece and then a connector piece like so eight and a half save that piece you can always use that for something else and then you want to take another one the same uh, kind and you want to cut it to um, let's see eight and a half tall by five and three quarters eight and a half by five and three quarters and hopefully I got my straight eye on <laughs> five and three quarters yes okay and so then what you want to do is you have to save all these they're really cool for making uh, other projects so now what you want to do is even your little strip is nice to add to the inside of your cards or um, onto the bottom of tags or things like that um, so now what you want to do is you want to take your, um, this one here, it's first, um, five and three quarter by eight and a half. And on the five and three quarter side, you want to score at five and a half. And then on the, 
eight and a half by eleven and a half, you're gonna score at five and a half. You're gonna score at five and three quarter. And then you're gonna score at eleven and a quarter. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to fold on all the score lines. You're going to fold on all of these here. I know, those are, those are tiny, huh? Oh, I wonder if I did them the same. Oh, cool, they all ended up the same way. <laughs> It would be crazy if one was striped, right? And then one <laughs> was horizontal. One vertical, one horizontal. That'd be crazy. Uh, and then basically what you're going to do is these these two pieces are going to get glued together is what is going to happen. And we're going to actually put that to the back. Um, actually, yeah, it's going to go to the inside. Yeah, this one is going to go score tape or glued to the inside like like that is what we're going to end up doing is just like that and then um punch that but let's go ahead and fold these as well and make sure they're straight and then we root this one that second one is a little bit harder usually it could be a little bit more wily <laughs> So there we go. There's our spine piece there. And this one is going to be on the front. So uh, here we go. What we want to do is we want to go ahead and get some score tape and some glue. Or just score tape would be fine as well. Um, and I'm going to do like an eighth of an inch score tape uh, to make it easier. Because it would be hard to get a quarter inch score tape down there. So we'll just put this all the way to the edge. Actually, or the middle. Let's stick to the middle. It'll be easier. Just stick to the middle. Like so. Uh, burnish that. Press that down. Uh, pull the tape. And then uh, get a little bit of glue. Just a little, because you don't want it to gush out on your beautiful paper. Just a little. Uh, like so. And then take this. See, you want to leave this one here. So take the the one that has the um, just a little tab that's to the left. And then you can still wrap over. You want the one to the left. And that's what you're going to add to this one. And you're going to butt this one up to that score line there. But don't go over. Don't go over, just go up two. And make sure you're even here and at the top. Whoopsie. Right up to that score line, but not over. And press. And then I'm just going to fold it down like this. Making sure I'm straight here and here. And then press this down. Like that. And then we can burnish it. Let's see, where's our bone folder? There we go. Like that. And there we go. There's our book. That's the cover. Isn't that great? That's going to be really nice. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and punch this. So let's put the pin in our glue so it doesn't dry out. And then let's go ahead and punch our cover. And so now what we want to do is, there you go, a little more room. Um, so now what you want to do is you want to take this, like we did last time, that score line there is going to line up with the edge right here. Now, obviously, this one, this doesn't work with the other ones, the other punches. It doesn't work with E or G um, because it's not a half. They're a quarter and three quarter. So you would have to, like, make a mark somehow um, on your page. And then, um, and so flip it over. 
so that way you can do the other side of that line. And same thing, line that line up to the edge of the punch. Uh, so you'd have to make um, you'd have to make a a guide of where to punch it at on on the page. You'd have to mark it, and that would be the edge where you'd want to put that at at three quarter or then a quarter. You'd split that into a quarter. Um, and so then what you're going to do is after you get that, you're going to flip it back over. Oh no, you're going to keep it the same. You're just going to ticker tape down and line this edge up to there. Make sure it's all the way at the back of the punch. And then you're going to flip it over. And then you got it. Like how easy is that, right? That is really, really simple. So now let's see if this fits in our book or our journal. Um, see that fits our journal. <laughs> I dropped all the I dropped all the pages on the floor. <laughs> all my pretty paper. Okay, let's just maybe we can just keep it in here like this. Oh wait, it goes like this. Right? I want that to the back. So I'm going to flip mine back around. So take the band off and I'm just going to pop it in here like so. Uh like a so. And then go like that and then see what that looks like. Boom, right? How cool is that? That's what it looks like. And then this just flips over. It just flips over like that. Um, and then you can add your cover. It goes like that. Now, it's not, you know, perfect by any means. Uh, but, you know, because of the thickness and probably because I added that other cover. But, I mean, that's pretty, I mean, that looks pretty darn sweet to me. Uh, I think that that works pretty good to me. I think that looks a little lovely. So like so. And that's the back. Um, yeah, it works. I think it works pretty good there. So yeah. So then um, all you do is uh, if you wanted to um, then open your journal. You're just going to do that. Um, and if you wanted it actually just to slip right into here into the band without having to pop the band up or to like get that piece out you could technically just cut it off right there and this piece would slide under and then you wouldn't have to man manipulate the front cover under the band it would be easier like that instead but I like it that it locks and then it can't open and that way your pages stay really nice so um, it's it's not that big of a deal to me to just pop that out of there and then, yeah, then you got a book. And then look how fun, using double-sided paper. Bam, right? How fun is that? That's pretty cool. So, yeah, this one, let's see, this one. Yeah, this one was a little bit short. Uh, I'm not sure why. I don't know. Maybe I, I might not have. I don't know. I scored it at the same. It should have been the same. Or, oh, I wonder if this was the short end. Maybe I should have cut it a little bit longer. This might this might have been the end of the page, and it didn't get cut quite quite so. That might have been why that ended up like that. But I still I still think it looks really cool. Um, anyhow, there it is. There just a couple ways to do that. A couple different styles of covers you could make. Uh, whether you do the wraparound one or you do the one that just goes on to the two sides, the front and the back, and then that's how you use the band. That's how you use the punch. That's the uh, size and the workings of these fun deals here. And um, hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a note down in the comments. Let me know um, uh, what you thought of the uh, demo. And um, if you haven't, subscribed to my channel. I would totally appreciate it. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out. And until next time, happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.